Okay, YouTube, dangerous times lie ahead. We've got a buildup of warships and aircraft carriers in the Mediterranean and plans being finalised for all out war. I want everyone to understand what is taking place right now in the media and in Syria. The media is taking part in a major psyop, covering up the truth about Syria and trying to help justify an invasion. We have seen countless documents, witness statements and videos that prove the Assad regime had nothing to do with the recent chemical attacks. In fact, the truth is quite the opposite of what the Western media is portraying. The evidence suggests that the attacks were actually carried out by the rebels who are the Free Syrian Army and consist of groups like Al-Nusra, Al-Qaeda and many other pro-Zionist Wahhabist cults. They are running riot around Syria, they are the real terrorists. They are the ones carrying out ethnic cleansing, slaughtering innocent civilians, bombing churches, knocking down places of worship with bulldozers and in general trying to bring down the Syrian government. They have been caught many times and were also in possession of chemical agents and gas masks, yet the West is still backing them all the way as they have all along, with funding and double agents in their quest to destabilise Syria, as they are in many other regions of the world. These rebels are not freedom fighters or born Syrians, they have been sent there just like in Libya to cause chaos and create a new regime as Assad's regime doesn't play ball with their agenda and also don't forget Syria is the gateway to Iran. China, Russia, Iran and Lebanon have all warned of dire consequences if the West get involved and try to invade Syria. Russia and Iran have already said they know the rebels are to blame for all the genocide in Syria and will retaliate against any intervention 100%. All this has been pre-planned. The proof is there for people to see, yet the lamestream media is twisting the facts and hiding any reports that would stir the public's perspective for the invasion. We need to make a stand, spread the message, make your own videos. If you know anyone in the government or in the military, let them know and tell them to research the facts. I'm calling on everyone to do what you can to avoid more bloodshed. This isn't Iraq and look what happened there. This could quite easily trigger a major global conflict with the potential to go nuclear. Even if it didn't go nuclear, just think of the loss of life and the damage to all nations, plus many blowback attacks and real cells being activated. It will cause a bitterness that will exist for many years to come. Think of your own families and how would you feel under martial law and a heavy military invasion, or even worse, being nuked. The same global Zionist banking mafia who control and influence the world have all had their hands into this agenda from the start. They are also the same ones who orchestrated the 9-11 attacks and many other terrorist false flag attacks in this phony war on terrorism. 9-11 was the pathway they needed to justify and take down many countries steal their resources, then put their own puppet in power. They couldn't have got this far without doing it and the evidence is overwhelming. For anyone who doesn't know, tell them as a starting point to just ask Mr. Larry Pullet Silverstein about the third tower, WTC7. We cannot let their actions continue because we are all at risk here. I urge you all to get the message out and to do what you have to in preparation should the shit hit the fan. Think of what you need to survive should the worst happen and stay alert. We have to say no to the war in Syria and let the truth be known that the men behind the curtain pulling the strings are about to lead us into a war that could end in Armageddon. This is the new world order and the time has come for their end game agenda. If we the people don't stand up and speak out, we will have to live or maybe not with the guilt of not even trying to stop it. We are and always have been lied to. It's time to let the world know who the real criminals are and put a stop to this genocidal death cult before it's too late. Look at the evidence and do your own research.